Hello everybody, my name is Alex, and in today's video we're going to be creating a, uh, a sort of uh, mounting point for our gun that will act as a holster for the VR shooter template. Before we go and jump into that, uh, if you enjoy the video, be sure to like and subscribe, it helps out the channel a ton, and with that, let's go and jump right into the video. Alright, so in order to uh, in order to get this started, uh, first off, let, let's, uh, let's see how we want this holster to work. So in order for this whole sort of work, what we want to do is we want to create a component that will attach to our player and and will have functions that will allow us to either attach or detach actors from that component. At, the functions themselves will run within the holster, but we'll be calling it from the hand when it's near the holster, so that way we have a way to trigger it when it's nearby to either of our hands. So it's fairly simple and fairly straightforward. Um, so first things first, we're going to want to actually create um, our component that we're going to use as our holster. So to do this, um, let's actually go and create a new folder real quick actually. And we'll call this component. Go and pop that open. And we're going to create a new blueprint class. And we're not going to do an actor. What we're going to want to do is, actually let's just look it up, mesh component. Oop. Da, 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 da. There we go. So this will be a variant of a mesh component. Um, why can I not create one? Um, okay, we'll do a skeletal me uh, stack mesh component. My bad. Um, we'll call it holster and open it up. Come on. There we go. So you can see real quick, um, we have our static mesh here. Um, you know, our standard stack mesh properties, I guess. Um, over here in our details panel, uh, we have our collisions and everything, which actually we're going to want to create to overlap all. Um, we're also going to want to give it a sample mesh for now. Now, you won't be able to see most of this right now um, because of the way this is all set up, but uh, it, it'll still be fine. It'll still all work just fine. Um, so long as you have collisions and you have um, you have some kind of stack mesh which quite frankly can be set in the player um, but you know that's fine either way um, so we're going to want to do a couple things here first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to create a variable here called attached actor and it will be a reference to an actor this will be whatever actor is currently attached to our holster or you know null if there's none um, then we're going to want to create two quick functions the first one's going to be attach uh, actor and we'll use this to attach a new actor to our holster it'll have one input here and it will be in actor let's actually capitalize that and and my typing's all over the place today. And my, there we go. Um, so first off, we're going to want to set attached actor to this. And then using attached actor, we're going to want to attach actor to component. The component will be uh, our self. Uh, in this case, the holster. And then we can snap to target, snap to target, and this will want to be kept world. Um, so this will make our location rotation both snap to the location of the holster currently. Um, and our scale should remain the same, um, so that way it's not affected at all. We don't have it growing massive or small. Um, it'll still all act correctly. And we're also going to want to create one called detach actor. And this one's also fairly straightforward. Um, we're going to want to First, get our attached actor, and we're going to want to detach from actor. Um, again, our uh, these will be kept all world to make sure it'll uh, it'll still stay at the same spot. Um, as a matter of fact, actually, we'll probably end up right after detaching it. We'll probably end up grabbing it and attaching it to the hand. So, um, quite frankly, lo location rotation don't really matter too much in this circumstance. Scale will be the most important thing here. And then at the end of all this, we're going to want to set our attached actor back to null, so that way we don't accident, so that way we're not, you know, grabbing things from across the scene or anything like that. Um, next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to jump into our motion controller pawn. 
And here we're going to want to grab our holster. And there we go. And we're going to attach it to VR Origin. The reason I'm not attaching it to the camera is actually because um, if I were to attach to the camera and put it roughly where, if I was looking straight on, roughly where my chest would be, you know, if I wanted to have it attached to a vest or something like that. Um, when I go to look down at it, what would actually end up happening is because it's attached to the headset, it would actually end up going back into my body and then I just wouldn't be able to grab it unless I was looking straight head on and that's just a little bit annoying. Um, VR Origin is actually attached to the ground so it still doesn't move around quite right with the player. Um, we would actually have to tinker around it and attach it to the, head, to the headset in order to make it work correctly. But just for simplicity's sake I'm only going to attach it to VR Origin for now and I'm actually going to bring it up just a little bit so we've got something a little bit more visible and we'll decrease the scale on it a little bit as well. Uh, actually let's do 0 0.25. There we go. So that's it for the motion control pawn. Next we're going to want to go to our BP motion controller and here we're going to be doing a couple things. We're going to be uh, modifying the grab and release actor functions to be to incorporate this holster. Um, for example, when we go to grab things, we're, what we're going to want to do is modify this. So if a holster is nearby, we'll grab from the holster and not whatever is actually nearby. Because um, presumably that's what the player is going to want to grab. And then for the release actor, we're simply going to want to check to see if there is a holster. And if there is, we're going to want to attach to that instead. So let's go and move this down. And these two we'll, we'll be calling later. Um, actually, we'll probably end up, I believe... Yeah, we will end up um, uh, copying this and doing this, having this two times. Um, and we'll use our grab sphere to detect if the holster is nearby. And we'll do this by get overlapping components. So this will pick up any components that are nearby. And we want to do a for each for this. And if this is the case, we're going to want to do is okay um so first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to cast to holster uh we'll be using this just to kind of check to see if it is a holster um of course if you have other things that you want to check for then you may just want to uh, do a branch and then just check to see what what class it's child of um but for simplicity's sake i'm just going to cast straight to holster um, next thing we we'll want to do is, if that is the case, we're going to want to detach our attached actor from our holster. Um, and I will try to keep this a little bit neat here to make this a little bit simpler. Here we go. We'll want to detach this from the actor, keeping all of our rules the same. And we don't want to set that to null just yet, so let's remove that. And then, we're, then we're going to want to. Um, uh, what was that? I called it attach actor. Yeah, that's what I called it. Um, then we're going to want to attach actor, and we're going to want to pass this in right here. Uh, there we go. And let me try and clean this up a little bit. Uh, There. Probably not the best blueprint job I've ever done, but that'll do. And then we're going to want to set this to attached actor. And here we're going to want to return if this was the case. So the reason we're returning is that'll mean that we just stop here. We're done. We found a holster. We don't need to do anything more. Um, however, if we didn't find a holster, then we still want to be able to to detach it, which is where the completed node comes in. If we didn't find a holster, then none of this runs at all, and we're going to basically end it like normal. So we're going to want to detach from actor, um, and we're going to want to pass in the attached actor. We want to make sure all these are kept the same. Uh, keep world. And then we're going to want to set attached actor back to null. So quite simply, um, when we go to release our object, um, if there is a holster, we'll run through all of this code right here. Uh, if there isn't, we're just going to do what was already happening when we release an actor. Next we need to move on to our grab actor. And here again, we're going to have to do some modifications here. Um, 
so before we do any of this, um, let's first check. Um, let's go ahead and move that out. And we will move all this stuff down for a second. So all this is our original code that checks to see um, if there is uh, an actor nearby, first off. And then we check to see if it's a gun. If it is, then we attach it to our hand. However, we do want to have an alternative to this. Um, and our alternative is going to be if there's a holster nearby. So in order to do this, um, we're going to want to do grab sphere, get overlapping components. Okay, and then uh, for each, we'll want to cast to see if it's a holster. Holster, here we go. And if it is, so that's where the, uh, this component right here, which actually I forgot to make that public, uh, that's where our attached actor comes into place. Uh, here we're going to first check to see um, if our attached actor is valid. Is valid. Uh, this one, I believe. Nope, I was looking for the other one. Uh, is valid. There we go. Uh, so if it is valid, then what we're going to want to do is using this, we're basically going to want to run through all of this other code. Um, basically starting, let's see here, we're going to want to start right here. So let's go and copy this actually, just to keep it a little bit simple. And if it is valid, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to put that in there. And that will basically run through as we usually would. So it'll um, it'll first set our attached actor so we have that. Then it will cast a gun. It will attach and then it will grab our new gun. And it will attach that to, um, to our hand mesh. And set our location and rotation like we need it to. And then at the end of all this, we again want to return. Because uh, we don't want to run any of the other code again. If there's no holster at all, um, then we want to run our original code as we had it before. Um, and actually, let me grab all this because I missed some of those. There we go. So uh, again, this works basically the same as what we did in the release sector. So right here, we're going to check to see if any of our overlapping components that we found is a holster. And then if it is, we're going to run through all this code and return at the end and we're done. Otherwise, we'll never get past this point, so none of the rest of this code will run. And then we'll jump down here to this for each loop and check to see if there's something we can grab if there's no holster. So it's fairly straightforward. Um, and with that, we can go ahead and run a quick check and see how this runs. All right, so uh, one spot that I messed up, um, and this was actually an older mistake that I had made. Um, so right here, I ended up having to change the scale rule to keep world. I did not realize I had left that as keep relative. Um, so when I actually went to grab it from the holster, it actually ended up blowing up it, you know, into a big scale that I didn't want it at. Um, but other than that, it all worked fine. Um, so if you actually go and jump into here, let me get, just jump right back in here. So recenter myself. You can actually see, you know, we have a gun, you know, fires, you know, just like I usually would. So when I ha have my hand near the holster, which in case you can't tell, this is the holster, uh, then we have it attached you know, just like it should be. Um, and that is actually roughly correct based off of the gun itself because the center of what's considered the origin point of the gun is actually right about here where the handle of the gun is. And you can actually see that too because uh, when I go to re-grab it again, um, it actually attaches right here. Um, but yeah, you can see, uh, you know, I can still fire and then drop it back down again and it works just fine. Um, of course, later on, this will have to be better attached to, um, you know, chest area or hip area or something like that. Um, but, you know, for now, this gives a representation of how the holster works and shows that it does. Um, so, yeah. All right. So with that, that is the holster for the VR shooter template. Um, of course, in the future, that will need to be, you know, better set for the uh, player, um, but you know for the, now that you know it, it gives a pretty good representation of how the holster works in VR 
Um, so if you want to check out this project, I actually will leave a link to the GitHub repository in the description if you want to check it out. Um, other than that, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe, like, all that fun stuff. It helps out a ton. Uh, and with that, uh, that's the end of the video. So, see ya.